So basically, quantum mechanics. Uh, the word quantum mechanics it sounds like really, really complicated and everything, but fortunately for us, the only thing, well, basically, what quantum mechanics means, it's a study of stuff that are small. Stuff that are small, as in we're talking really small, like atoms. And then we're going beyond atoms, like we're going to protons, neutrons, electrons, positrons, anti-electrons, gluons, tau particles, mal particles, and all those fancy particles and uh, energies and all that. Oh, hundred years, uh, years ago, we all knew light. Light as we know it, light is there, you have light there. But we didn't actually know what light was. The, two, uh, the main question about light was whether it was a particle or a wave. Now, what do I mean by a particle? A particle is like some like rocks or pebbles on the seashore, right? And a wave is like a sea wave. It's a movement, like a sound wave among different particles. And a particle, as in, you know, it's just a physical, tangible thing. And a wave is completely different. And the main question was whether light, is, is, is it a particle or is it a wave? Is it particles of photons, as, uh, as we now call, want to call them, or is it a, a wave of a movement of energy through space? And um, up, until about ni up until 1905, uh, we, have, we learned from experiments that uh, light is actually a particle. It's made of these tiny things called photons. And um, for, uh, yeah, for photons, because, um, for example, when you have a very large telescope and, uh, or, or a large mirror and you tune in uh, and you convert the uh, amount of light uh, it falls on the telescope into audio signals, you, you hear these little pattering noises. And those little pattering noises are tiny little particles hitting the mirror. And then in 1905, um, we discovered that uh, we, we, we sort of came to the realization that uh, light is actually a wave. And this was just completely mind blowing because for, for, every, for, a party, for the light to be a wave, it was just completely incompatible with all physics that came before it. According to our best knowledge and according to our first inter interactions, and every single experiment that was ever done, light is a particle. But then we did this experiment and we were like, oh wow, wait, light is a wave now? So, okay, so. So as you can see, what, this is how we figured out that uh, light is actually a wave. So this is actually a pretty simple, a simple experiment, uh, nothing really complicated. They have tiny little balls and they have a slit, right? And they're firing the ball through the slits. And what, as you can see, what happens is some of the ball gets, uh, some of the balls pass through the slit and some of them bounce back. And, and what happens is that, as you can see, the balls that pass through get embedded in the, uh, in the reflector panel below it. Uh, and we did it with two sets, and so yeah, because you have two sets, you have two separate. Uh, I need to say. You have two separate, as you saw previously, you have two separate lines or places where the particles are embedded, right? Now we repeat the same experiment with waves, just pebbles or uh, like a pebble thrown on the water, and you see the waves ripping through. And it is simple as the same experiment with waves, and you can see, as you can see, see uh, as the wave went through, it just sort of went through the slit. Can say that. It just went through the slit and it hit an, uh, like the highest point of the wave hit an area behind the screen, right? And then we did the experiment again with two uh, two slits, and this time it was a bit it was a bit different. What happened to what we were expecting to happen with uh, with particles? Whereas with particles we had just two different bands with waves, as you can see when you put, put a wave through a, uh, a thing, you have two different interactions of waves. See, as you can see. When you have, um, because there are two slits, the wave goes through both slits and creates multiple waves. And where, uh, 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 and w as if you imagine a wave as an S on its side, right? Yeah, there's two parts to a wave. There's the trough and the crest. The trough is the part that's like this, like facing uh, downwards, and the crest is the part that's facing upwards. So, what happens is when you have two different waves, and the trough or the part that's uh, higher of a wave aligns with the crest of another wave, as in like like that you get nothing, it cancels each other out. But if the trough or the higher part of a wave uh, like merges with the higher part of another wave, you get an even bigger wave. And that even bigger wave creates, um, uh, creates the background, you can, see, you can see here, creates uh, interference. This is what we call, this is called wave interference. So interference is basically just interaction of waves uh, based on troughs and uh, crests. And this is what is supposed to be happening in the normal level. We have two bands with the particles, and then you have a wave interaction um, thingy with waves. Now we did the experiment with fundamental levels, and we shot electrons through it. So, uh, as we would expect, electrons are particles, so they had single bands, right? And now we do the now this is called the double slit experiment. They fired electrons through two slits, and we were supposed to ha get two distinct bands, but we got a wave interference pattern. 
this was like basically undeniable evidence that uh, light is uh, actually light is actually a wave and not um, not a particle. But then from previous experiment, experiments, we know that light is a particle. So the only conclusion here is to accept that light is both a particle at some times and a wave the other times. That's like saying an apple is an orange sometimes and an apple the other times. Because particles and waves are two completely different things with two completely different properties. So, so somehow the electron changed itself to a wave and went through both sets and then changed itself back to a particle. This is like a, if you throw a rock through a window, as I said, it just sort of explodes into this wave kind of thingy and then comes back together as a particle. And this was absolutely crazy because electrons are no more, they have, they have the same uh, uh, properties, uh, physical properties uh, as a rock does. And you, you might be thinking that's crazy, and that's exactly what physicists are thinking was, was, uh, was crazy as well.